All right, so continuing with our $109 series, we have the XK Beaver. Hold on, I, I've got to read this whole name. It's XK DHC2 Beaver A600 with gyro, 580 millimeter, 2 point, or 22.8 inch wingspan, ready to fly RTF WLT A600R. Whew, what a mouthful. Let's see if the box is as full as that is. unbox this thing. All right, well, here it is. Uh, the box is a little smaller than I'd actually expected based off of the packaging it came in. But we're gonna crack this open. Let's see, we got, we got these little tabs here. Ah, cardboard tabs are the bane of my existence. There we go. So it's a cute little box that it comes with here. Looks like something you'd pick up in one of those big box stores. Uh, unfortunately, those tend to not lead well into a transition deeper into the hobby, so I don't know what to expect. Ugh. Come on, work with me here. There we are, all right. So here's our manual. And, well, we do have that thin foam sheeting to help protect components. I always appreciate that, you know, a little consideration. That is a super little wing, very light. I'm gonna guess this is our charger. Yep, there we go. So our battery's gonna plug in here. And that goes straight into the wall. Excellent. <clears throat> Here's our little two cell lipo. This is the ready to fly version, so it comes with this uh, super sleek radio. Yeah, it, it feels like an air hog. All right, going on out without breaking anything. There's our fuse. And our little baggie of components to include what I'm guessing are struts from the wings and landing gear. And our little propeller. Excellent. Well, that's everything that's in the box. <clears throat> Close this back up so it's out of the way. Let's come back here. All right, well, this doesn't look like there's gonna to be too much to put together. Uh, honestly, a little more than I'd originally expected when I thought I was getting a ready-to-fly plane, but shouldn't be too bad. We'll go ahead, get this slapped together for you, and come back with our thoughts. Well, there you have it, the DHC2 Beaver. Actually, it was a pretty easy assembly overall. It was a single screw. Uh, the landing gear just clipped right in. And I really like the struts here on the wings. 
they just kind of clip right onto these little balls. Mm. However, she gets really on when you touch her. It's like the servos don't quite want to center. Um, not a lot of resolution on her control surfaces. They seem to be either up or down. Um, a little expo on that would go a long ways for this for this little plane. But I mean, everything does seem to move. Uh, one thing I noticed, if I move the rudder stick too far to one side, it starts curving up in these little pockets and that causes the propeller to spin up. Uh, thrust though, I mean, it does have a little bit of thrust. I like that it came with a spare prop and spinner. I mean, that's always advantageous. Uh, especially on these little planes, they you know they do have a tendency to crash once in a while. Um, I don't know what I think of this little controller. Honestly, I'm not a big fan. Uh, EPS foam. I haven't worked with that in quite a while. I can't remember how bad it is to repair, but I'm sure I'm going to get some experience with that here before too long. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of is what it is. It's a small, ready-to-fly play, $109. <clears throat> small ready to fly plane, $109. Uh, it's not terrible. I mean, I, I could see people picking this up. It, um, it's got a 22.8 inch wingspan. Uh, no flaps or lights, which is a little disappointing. You know, I, I kind of compared this to my UMX Timber that I picked up. It's got flaps, it's got lights, uh, it has the safe system. Now, this does have a gyro, which you know, for the smaller planes, especially if you're flying in a stiff breeze, is really helpful. Uh, but having that, that self-leveling could be really nice. Uh, it claims to have some if you push down on the aileron stick. We will give that a test when we get out to do the maiden flight. Um, and then it claims USB charging, but this is definitely a wall charger. So. Unless you've got a USB adapter, I don't think you'll be charging it off your computer or cigarette lighter anytime soon. Um, now, as I understand it, this is a Futaba compatible radio, so we generally fly off of Spectrum ourselves. Uh, if somebody out there has a Futaba radio and has been able to successfully pair with this plane, let us know. I'd be really interested to find out. Uh, that's one of the biggest limitations I'm seeing here is the inability to step up from this plane. I mean, the, this radio is going nowhere. Uh, but can the plane, can you use that on your big box that you fly everything else with? That's something I'd be interested in. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cute, it's little. I kind of, hold on, I've got to disconnect this battery. There we go. Uh, Servos came pre-installed. That's, you know, that, that was nice. Uh, however, something worth mentioning is that as I was going through the install, the first step was to attach the wing. At no point did it actually mention connecting the aileron uh, servo leads. Um, and then the Y harness for those had been tucked all the way up inside the battery compartment. So. I'm in here with a pair of forceps trying to connect it to these little uh, connectors on the board that the wires barely reach, only to you know subsequently realize that, oh, there's this Y connector and they plug right in and it's not that bad, but whew, I tell you, that was, I, I was not looking forward to having to reattach those wires once I got them on. And then I look inside and there are only two pin connectors I'm trying to go to, so they couldn't connect there anyway. That's the only reason I found the Y. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, I'd drop the extra $20 on the bind and fly UMX Timber. Uh, for others, this may be exactly what they're after. And if you're just getting into the hobby, I can certainly see the appeal here. I would still probably go with a, a ready to fly UMX Timber if they were offered, but checking their site, it's not there. I just. I want a radio that will move on to other planes with me, and most of those ready to flies from E-Flights give me that. Uh, this one, I mean, it, it kind of feels like something I'd get one of my kids. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this out. We'll see how it performs for you. Until then, 
Thank you for joining us and keep on flying. To eliminate abnormity. The status. When the flight signal light flash, control no reaction. Reason? Transmitter and plane code binding is not successful. Countermeasure. Binding again as the code bind steps according to the warns in page 6. You buy the model before leaving the factory has been to code completion. If need to recode, please according... I can't. I just... I can't. <laughs> Jared, can you help me out here? Buy an E-Flight. <laughs> nice. And we're not sponsored by them. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs>